Alrighty. Again, I'm not, I'm not going to bother. I'm just not going to bother. There's strong vassals who can put in, but everything else is just kind of wasted effort right now. Okay, so now things are starting to get bad for us in confinement. The comforts of confining, shutting the gates to Kitatea, Alba, and secluding ourselves from the epidemic outside was not an easy decision to make. And praying to God doesn't help your conscience much. However, worrying about the fellow men and women outside has lately turned into less of an issue than dealing with the droves of impatient subjects within our own castle walls. Uh, work is dwindling as reports from the outside become more scare. The cooking staff has lost their enthusiasm due to the rationing. When our nobles are not complaining about being unable to visit their families, they are visibly bored. If there's nothing else for us to do, we could at least enjoy each other's company, Anna suggests. You contemplate her words. Perhaps there's nothing wrong with wanting to savor our last days on Earth. Okay. So... We try and get her 120 gold to find some way. Yeah, let's go, let's go all out. 120 gold for some in-castle amusement. The Black Death is literally the only thing for which I, sh I shut my gates. There's nothing else in the world that I would shut my gates over. Touch them. He's my heir. So let's make him proud because I don't want him too ambitious. Anna has really spruced things up. Windows are polished, there are new drapes in place, and the fine cutlery is now brought out for every meal. This is an even there even is a loot play around, and I've given free access to our wine cellars. Admittedly, it is easy to ignore the hardship going on outside our safe haven. Okay. Plus one health in secluded revelry. Yeah, okay. Let's do something about the lights as well. People might end up really hating us. Doing what we're doing here. We'll just have to see. I never done that event, Shane. Oh no. In spite of being cooped up in the castle, while death rages outside, the spirit of uh, Kateta Alba has never been so alive. I'm having a jolly time socializing with my court, but strangely enough, there seems to be more people than before. I don't remember inviting that stranger with the mask. There's something off about him. No longer zealous. Yeah. During yet another evening of wine fueled relaxation, I approach Anna just as the tall clock strikes the hour. The sound causes the lute player to halt, and my courtiers glance cautiously at each other. Is that must one a friend of yours? I inquire. Anna shakes her head. How dare a stranger sneak into our midst like this? He's death. Definitely death. Always death. You, I call one final evening, pointing at the masked figure. He is standing in the middle of the room, seemingly with an invisible aura as repelling any company. As I get closer, I understand why. The smell makes me convulse, but the man says nothing. Okay, so chance something strange and something terrible happening. Who or what are you? Don't fear the reaper. Watch out, my lord, Anna yells as the mysterious stranger reaches for you. We quickly duck out of his way, emotion accompanied by an appreciative gasp from the courtiers. The creature seems taken aback, but slowly spins towards you again. Take this, a guard bellows as a tall candelabra is thrown to you. Candlelights blaze, hesitating for only a second we decide to wield it as you would any fighting cane, we begin swinging the fiery weapon passionately in the direction of what we decide must be death himself. Leave this place! 
I roar, ushering him out away from the crowd. Then, in a sudden poof of black smoke, we find our opponent gone. The room grows quiet. That was close, okay. It looks like death leaves our court. And we get plus one health for five years. I don't think I've ever defeated death in anything. That's really cool. I mean, I've survived the plague, most certainly that, but I've never fended off death. Cool. Well, that was lucky. That was a real lucky break. As you can see, we can't even find any commanders anymore. Our wife shall be our spy mistress. And what's going on over here? Who's holding this title now? This guy. Is this part of our realm now? Yeah. Oh, goodness me. I really need, re need religious revocation. I really need that. <gasps> Look at what we got. Yeah. Time to switch to Ultimo Genitor. Good stuff. Good stuff. That revocation is also allowed so everyone can hate us now, but it's fine because everyone who hates us now will die tomorrow. So it's no worry for us. That's all pretty good. Court Physician. Oh, there's still someone left who can fill that role. Master of the Horse. This guy he doesn't like us well. Our daughter will be our High Almoner. Our daughter married? She's called to this guy. Who are you? Let's break the betrothal. I don't want an outsider. Let's get her someone matrilineal. I want good. I want more blood at home. So she's 16. Find her someone age appropriate. Oh, a genius there scrolling by. Nine year old genius. Oh, he's too young. I want, I want someone close to her age. Halfway decent. Let's sort by something else and sort by this. No one really with any super good traits and they're all pretty terrible people. This guy is halfway decent. Let's go with this steward here, the Prince of Bulgaria. Does not give us a non-aggression pact, but potentially generates us a claim or two. Yes, we have a new heir indeed. Unless we get another child, this should be good. And be inherited by a successor. Very good. We have a potential to get a strong claim on the Kingdom of Bulgaria here. Now we could create this duchy title here and give it away to our son. To our eldest. Try to get a good night's sleep but I am tormented by horrible recurring nightmares of our people. The pleas for help and hurtful words begin to get to me. The first time I'm happy to have the stubborn trait. There's nothing we can do for them. The stubborn. Sometimes those trades can be really good. And watch our income plummet as well. Everything is going down. Oh, our troops are still pretty... Pretty available, it looks like. So far, we only experience a minor depopulation. Certainly to our... Level 2 hospital.
we have an alliance with her? Have one. Oh no, we become depressed. I mean, so far we haven't gotten the seclusion uh, food shortage thing. Polish liberation of Volonia. Oopsie god. Thousands. Golden Horde brings what? Also just 6,000? Six, 6, Let's join him. We don't want them to liberate this area. He has a very pretty wife. Hi. Ah. We'll only send our vassal troops in. Seems fair, right? Where is his army? Tax shifted nobles. No, I don't want to pay you more money. I mean, he mainly has a horde. So even the 6,000 he has should be quite enough to repel the poles. I'm just randomly supporting these people wishing to get help from us. On second thought. Let's send some more of our troops. Well, uh, not all of them, but some. I'm just attaching as quickly as I can because sometimes it's a wee bit hard to catch up to him if they're already attaching. That makes it a little bit easier to control things. Very good, our son is a great tactician. We've sent all we're going to send in terms of military reinforcements. Let's give our son land and create that duchy for him too. We'll lose a bunch of troops over it, but that's okay. Oh no, he's a homosexual. Now you get Deverine. And we'll keep this here. We'll also make you a duke. This, but not the lower titles. You only get this. Oh man, these colors are not really clear. But this is the same color as this, so it worked. The way I wished it to work. Our son shall be our marshal. 
this guy no must be a better guy out there what could go wrong if he travels 50 million miles during it Black Death. Our son will be our designated regent. Uh, let's make this guy keep of swans. Our son will be our cupbearer. Our tutor will be that girl. And this guy will be our court chaplain. Son was born to Prince Ioannis of Bulgaria, so our son-in-law thus granting us our first grandson. Southern Europe is ravaged by the plague, which is us. By the way, the plague never spread here. Very interesting. I've never seen the Black Death kind of ignore a whole bit of land. <laughs> Really odd spread. Usually it does encompass the whole world fairly quickly. We still keep this, and we've given him oversight over this. How's this war coming along? Not good. Our liege is doing weird stuff. What are you doing, man? I think he's still trying to get his troops together. Because there's more coming here. Where are these going? no sense okay now let's hope for the horde power to really get going there we are sending a few reinforcements but only a few he won power of the hordes some insane bit of I mean look at that he lost 1500 troops which is probably mostly mine if you look here, I oh know, that's a lot of forces he lost. We sent primarily light and heavy infantry. And he lost 8,000 troops, almost 9,000. That is completely out of this world. Attach here, let's combine and attach. Crazy. And there's still more horde coming in. So it was a very good decision to get in on that. I'll prevent our soon-to-be daughter-in-law whose area of her lands. Okay, we're at the burning stage now. Which ain't ideal. But he must seek battle. And destroy the enemy. Looks like he's doing. How much have we contributed? 17%. I like contributing. I wish contributing uh, would give you more. So it would become more of a viable option to help in a war. Or there's more incentive anyway. Yeah, he's obliterating them now. Mainly Khans who have joined him. Everything is a horde here.
43 against 1,800 lost. Now he's just sieging down because he can. Let's say 800 die here again. More than 800 at least. 1,600. Only 200 left of the army. No. The entire army was destroyed. Nothing was left. Wow. Hordes are insanely strong. Slightly taxed focused. What is it now? I think we can go ahead, detach, and get our troops back home. Stand them down. Because he seems to have it quite under control. And there are more and more troops arriving every day, so... This should give us a positive balance as well. There we go. Back to positive. This is what the Black Death does. It takes away everything you have. Well, Bologna was successfully defended. Not least thanks to us. Black Death is still here. I don't want to join you, the rebellion. More rebellion anyway. Where did I have those troops? <gasps> Over here. Raise the troops over here somewhere. Remember where he has his spot, but oh no, that's what we did. So we can do this in seven years. Then we can get rid of this boy here by revoking his title on religious grounds because he's a Tengri. Isn't the right thing. At him hovering there. Black Death is gone from our holdings. But I'm kind of reluctant to open our gates again. It's not going to come back. I've never seen it switch back. But it's still so close over here. Plus, we don't have any food shortages or anything. Okay, this is probably our paranoia speaking there. Seeing plots around us. Okay, I caught them. When I confronted them, they were planning to humiliate me. How they planned to do that, they refused. We forgave them, even though it was hard. Our grandson should be focused on struggling. We need powerful people. Get him a Byzantine pride. Do go this way. you something matrilineal let's go with origin on aggression pack with our liege
Go train troops, boy. The plague is gone. Our daughter Theodora comes to us to our study one evening. She appears quite agitated, pacing the room back and forth for a full minute before speaking. Father, I beg you, please let me leave the keep. Please, you must. You demand to know their reason. But she refuses to tell us the specific. It's a matter of life and death. What about your poor father? Believe I can't let you back in. Honestly, let's end seclusion. Studies are continuing. Pay some money for it. The new clan. Am I having the, the the black death immediately after opening the gate? We still have our health modifiers. Lucky to be alive, yeah, for for about another year. Yeah, we got the Black Death. And feudal warfare is finished, luckily, before we die. Not great. Also not too, t not too shabby. <gasps> oh, come on. Long as you know what you're doing. Come on, take care of us. Very good. Successful treatment. We have his... We're bedridden. And there we go. Did. Can't lot is low. So we are a child king for another five years. Did we shut the gates? and you will be our spy master you will also be our guardian I think I should have just let the gates be shut a grave mistake a grave miscalculation 